Hey there, what's going on? My name is Julian from JulianAstros.com and in today's video I wanted to share with you how to overcome the no time objection in network marketing because I mean I think you're getting this all the time. I mean when you are reaching out to people and they are saying I don't have enough time, I'm too busy for this, I don't know if you know I'm able to squeeze that in into my busy schedule. So here's the deal, there are several ways how you can overcome that objection and people will say this to you like I wouldn't say like all the time, but if people want to come up with with an excuse, they usually will say I don't have enough time. So and especially if they are having a job, and I'm gonna tell you like a little something that I actually came across quite recently, and I like you know like actually calculating like, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why uh, in just a second. So first of all, the very first method that works like all the time when it comes to any type of objection like in network marketing that is. The method feel, felt, found. So let's say a prospect tells you, well, I don't have enough time for this business. You can say something like, I totally understand how you feel. I felt the same way and, you know, I didn't have enough time. You know, I was working like 80 hours a week, like at my job. I was like, you know, like working seven hours a day. But, you know, I found a way for me to create like more time freedom through this business and I was able to like, I don't know, hit like six years, whatever. So, I mean, don't lie. So, you know, either share your own story and that's, that is the tip number two, share your story or share the story of someone else in your company. Maybe you have somebody uh, and you can say something like, I understand how you feel. Uh, like, in fact, we have a, like a, um, you know, a, a, a talk, like a talk earlier, you can say who has, you know, been in the exact same situation as you are right now. And I mean, he was able to like, I don't know, hit like six, seven figures. So, you know, utilize the stories because I mean, stories sell. I mean, this is like a pure fact. I mean, you don't, you cannot, you know, convince somebody or, you know, sell something just, you know, by giving like pure facts. I mean, right. I mean, facts really don't work when it comes to recruiting people. People don't care about the facts. People care about the stories, right? So if you can share a story of somebody and people can relate to that, then you are going to be able to overcome that objection much, much effectively. So selling stories is number two. So the, uh, the, the third thing I would tell you is, uh, and I mean, I learned this from Ray Hayden uh, through his course. And I mean, something that he said, like, you really have to have the guts to say that. So, and you have to like get prepared and maybe practice a little bit, you know, before doing that. So let's say, you know, somebody gives you an objection. I don't have enough time. You know, maybe they're working in a business and they're like, you can say something like, well, like based on what you've said, looks like you really need this business because, you know, this is what exactly what's, gonna, what's going to allow you to create time freedom that you don't really have right now, right? So yeah, it, it takes a little bit of courage to say that because when you say to people, they're going to be like blown away by that. Like, you know, wow, like, you know, you really say that, right? So, I mean, based on what you've said, you really need this business because you don't have the time freedom that you're looking for and that's exactly what this business can give you, right? So, and the fourth thing, I, this is like really, really cool. I mean, I like breaking it down uh, and actually I do break down, you know, my own hours, you know, the way I work on my business. So, um, you know, we all have 168 hours a week. So 24 multiplied by seven, it's gonna be 168. You can, you know, check that out yourself. So 168 hours that we have during the weeklets, uh, say that on average, like, you know, we will sleep eight hours a day. So we will, so eight hours times seven days a week, it's going to be 56 hours of sleep, right? That we are getting per week. So here's the deal. So, you know, we, uh, you know, we have left, you know, 40 hours a week, uh, like on average, let's say somebody's going to be working. So 96 hours, they're gone, right? I mean, this is something that, you know, you cannot do anything about it. Yes, you can sleep less or whatever. So on average, you're, you know, spending, uh, you know, actually investing 96 of your hours, you know, into going to your job and, you know, working and also into the sleep. Also, uh, there's actually something that I found, found through uh, an article on LinkedIn and the guy was sharing. So on average, you know, per week, we spend 42 hours uh, on eating, having fun with our families, you know, just going out there somewhere. So 42 hours per week which leaves us uh, 30 hours extra per week. 
So, I mean, just try to break it down to your prospects and, I mean, just look at their face if you are, you know, talking with them one-on-one -on -one. or just, you know, try to listen to their expression or to their emotions once they really hear that. So, and you can say something like, you know, you can break it down the same way and then say to them, so you have 30 hours left during the week. Like, do you really think you cannot build a business in 30 hours per week? Like, you know, most people actually, you know, when you build a business, you know, and I know this for a fact, you know, from my own experience, like per day, usually you're going to work like maximum three productive hours a day, right? So, I mean, three productive hours a day, like, you know, like for an, an entire week, it's going to be 21 hours. 30 hours is way more. So, I mean, once you really break it down this way, you know, just look at the emotions of your prospects, they're going to be absolutely blown away. So I hope you found this video valuable. I hope that you found this helpful and something that you can implement into your business. So uh, if you got value out of this video, feel free to like this video, comment below your thoughts and share this with your prospects, with, oh, not with your prospects, with your teammates. Uh, your prospects probably don't need to hear this right now. So uh, feel free to share this with your team, with your friends, with your followers. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you would like to receive some more free trainings from me in the future, go to my blog at julianastroska.com. Click on the sidebar banner over there, enter your name and email information, and you'll be added to my newsletter. And as well, you'll receive a free ebook as a bonus. And I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.